Hello there, my name is Richard McMunn from the interview training company PassMyInterview.com and in this tutorial I will teach you how to pass a Solutions Architect interview. Now it does not matter which organisation you have your interview with for the role of Solutions Architect. Please do make sure you watch this tutorial fully from beginning to end because I promise to help make you the standout candidate. Now to achieve that, this is what I am going to cover. I'm going to give you a list of Solutions Architect interview questions, common interview questions that are being asked by some of the major organisations such as Amazon for example. I will also give you sample answers to help you pass your Solutions Architect interview. I will also tell you the qualities you must demonstrate during your interview and I will also tell you where you can get access to further resources to help you pass your Solutions Architect interview. So there's four really good reasons why you should stick around and watch this tutorial from beginning to end. Now before I get into those Solutions Architect interview questions and top scoring answers, a very warm welcome to this presentation. My name is Richard McMahon. That is me there in the centre of the screen. I've been helping people for over 20 years now to pass their interviews and I always do that by giving you top scoring answers you can't find anywhere else. Please make sure you subscribe to the channel by clicking the red button below the video. That way you, you're not going to miss out on any of the training videos I upload. And I obviously would appreciate your support. You can also connect with me on LinkedIn if you want to. My LinkedIn link is in the description below the video and it's always good to connect with like-minded professionals. Please also give the video a like because that then tells me you enjoy the content and I will spend more time creating it for you. Okay, let's get into those Solutions Architect interview questions and answers. By the way, if you want to tell me which organization you have your Solutions Architect interview with in the comments section below the video, then I will tr come on here each day and I'll try to give you some more questions to help you pass for your particular organization. So the first question I want you to prepare for is, tell me about yourself and why you want to become a Solutions Architect. Now it's really important to concentrate on the core skills, the qualities and the experience you have that will enable you to be a highly effective Solutions Architect in your answer to this first interview question. So this is going to be the first interview question. Here is my suggested answer. I am a highly focused, driven and professional Solutions Architect who can bring the right level of technical expertise and business acumen to your organisation. I have many years experience working in teams where complex solutions need to be found in order to help the organisation not only overcome difficult problems, but to also enable them to grow within their industry and maintain market share. I want to be a solutions architect simply because I have a broad range of natural skills, qualities and attributes that, coupled with my in-depth technical abilities, make me the perfect candidate for this role. I understand that for your organisation to continue to be successful, my work will have to be on point, consistently to exacting standards and also solution focused. If you hire me as your solutions architect, I feel confident you will see a positive return on your investment quickly and also sustained over a prolonged period of time. Now that is a very professional answer. It's strong, it's in detail and it shows that you're passionate about working as a solutions architect for their organisation. Now you can either pause the video if you want to and take notes of the answers or if you want to wait I will tell you at some stage during the video where you can download my full set of 25 Solutions Architect interview questions and top scoring answers. Let's move on to the next question. Why do you want to work for our organization as a Solutions Architect? Now to answer this question well you have to show the interviewer that you've researched their organization in detail. Make sure you focus on the positive aspects of their company when giving valid reasons for wanting to work for them. Here is my suggested answer. Any organisation that hires a solutions architect is clearly ambitious, committed to high standards and also focused on their core asset, the customer. Having conducted lots of research into your organisation prior to applying for this solutions architect role, it is clear you have ambitious plans for the future, you want to act quickly and you also want to maintain your impressive market share within the industry. I am an ambitious person who gets the most job satisfaction from projects that require in-depth technical analysis, problem-solving capabilities, and also the ability to respond quickly 
to changing requirements and specifications. I believe I will be a good fit for your team and providing, of course, you are happy with my work, which I believe you will be, I would like to stay working here for a long period of time. So again, that's a pretty in-depth answer that shows you've researched their organisation, you know a little bit about them, and more importantly, you're focusing on the positive aspects of why you want to work for their organisation. Now, don't go anywhere because I still have a number of questions to run through. But when you're ready, if you click that link in the top right hand corner of the screen, it takes you through to my website, passmyinterview.com, where you can download my full set of 25 solutions, architect interview questions and top scoring answers in PDF format. And it's a great resource for helping you succeed at your interview. But let's move on to the next question. What skills and qualities are needed to be a solutions architect? Now, the only way you can confidently answer this interview question is to refer to the person's specification for the role of a solutions architect. Now, I've done the research for you. Here is my suggested answer. There are numerous skills and qualities needed to become a competent solutions architect. These include broad and in-depth technical knowledge and competence, so your team can rely on you to come up with the right solutions to their problems. You need excellent communication and interpersonal skills and also the ability to explain complex technical information in an easy to understand manner. You need a diverse knowledge of web platforms, SQL servers, data database management capabilities, development operations and also computer and operating systems. You need a high level of commercial awareness so you can understand the bigger picture and how your work as a solutions architect fits into the organization's goals. You also need project and product management skills and be aware of risk management and how your decisions can impact significantly on the organization's success. Finally, you need to have resource management, management skills, be a people person who is willing to take responsibility and also possess exceptional high standards and detail orientation at all times whilst carrying out your work. So there's lots of qualities that are needed to be a solutions architect um, you are very intelligent people, in my opinion. Um, you need all of these skills and qualities, a diverse range of them. And also the important ones are having commercial awareness, strategic vision, and an understanding that your work needs to fit into the long-term goals of the organisation that you are hired by. So the next Solutions Architect interview question I would like you to prepare for is, can you give me an example of a situation where you insisted on the highest standards. Now, this kind of question is really common during Amazon interviews for solutions architects. What This question is based on their leadership principles. But for any organization, it's a really good question to prepare for, for the role of solutions architect. Now, as you and I know, a great solutions architect will always work to very high standards. Now, this is a behavioral type interview question. So make sure you give a specific situation you've previously been in where you insisted on high standards. Here's my suggested answer. I was working on an important web-based project for a previous employer, which included other departments. Now, during the initial briefing, it became clear that the department who was responsible for product development wanted to cut corners with a view to completing the project in time for an anticipated seasonal spike in online trade. Whilst I can understand their reasons for pushing forward the launch date, I raised serious concerns that, unless we followed protocol and completed the project to my proposed specifications and solutions, we would encounter problems later on down the line due to the vulnerability of some aspects of the website. I made a suggestion that we should maintain exacting standards, but look to increase the team size from six to eight people so that we could attempt to still meet their desired launch date and therefore take advantage of the increase in trade. Now, what I like about that situation um, is that you are still insisting on high standards, but you are looking to be flexible by making suggestions of how you can still meet their desired launch date by increasing the team size. So it shows that you're flexible and adaptable, but you still insist on high standards. Now, this next Solutions Architect interview question is, what's your biggest weakness? Which, again, I can pretty much guarantee will come up during your interview. Now, this is a make or break interview question, so don't give a weakness that is a match for the solutions architect job description. OK, so we've got to be very careful what we say here. Here is my suggested answer. If I'm being entirely honest, I would say in the past I've been the type of person who prefers to go away 
and figure things out for myself instead of asking others for help or advice. Obviously, asking other people for help or advice is a faster way of getting things done. And I think my weakness has been down to the fact I love a challenge and I like to learn things for myself. Having said that, one of my strengths as a solutions architect is the fact I'm always looking to improve. And if you give me feedback on my performance that helps me and the organisation to grow and develop, then I will always be open to that and I will take it on board. I think that's a great answer. It's safe because it shows that you're committed and you want to find things out for yourself, but you're acknowledging that really you should be working more as part of a team and asking for help as and when needed. Now, don't forget to click that link in the top right hand corner of the video. It takes you through to this page here, which is uh, passmyinterview.com 25 solutions architect interview questions and answers. So I've listed all of the questions that I recommend you prepare for, for any organization for your solutions architect interview. Make sure you read that at the very least, okay, the 25 questions. But my advice is to download the PDF document you get all of the five questions that I've just worked through with you, plus another 20 on top. Um, they're great answers. There's also four key tips here for passing your Solutions Architect interview. Just scroll down to the bottom of the page, and then you can get access to that within two minutes from now. I hope you've enjoyed that. Please don't forget to connect with me on LinkedIn. Please subscribe and hit the like button. I genuinely appreciate your support on the channel. Thank you very much. And I wish you all the best for passing your Solutions Architect interview. Thank you very much for watching.